Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to the Fetish Channel. Today this is day three of the Advent Beer Calendar from Lodi's Tap House. And today, what I've pulled from box number three is this beer, which I believe is pronounced Kyles. I looked up a pronunciation online, and I believe that's what it is. Kyles is Latin, or derived from Latin, uh, and it means heavenly, celestial, uh, skyward. Um, the picture kind of looks like some blue lady, maybe with like stars in her hair, maybe. There are like stars kind of throughout the cane. But this is a Doppel Dunkel Weisbach. Uh, a lot of words there. Um, I uh, looked up to see exactly like what kind of beer this might be. There is a description that I'll kind of go over, but Dunkel Weisbach uh, is actually kind of three different names. There's a beer called a Dunkel. There's a beer uh, called like Heffenweiss. And there's a beer called Bach. And they're all kind of different styles. And Dunkel Weiss Bach is kind of like a conglomeration of those three styles. Um, needless to say, it is German and it is wheat forward. The Doppel adjective at the front it just means double. It means stronger. Uh, and it is a 10% by volume uh, beer, so it can mean stronger alcohol-wise as well as stronger flavor-wise. Um, and then it gives you a little bit of a brewer's notes on the side, right here above the Lodi's Tap House emblem. Uh, this says Holiday Doppel Dunkel Weisbach. Pale and dark wheat malt, Bohemian Pilsner malt, special W malt, which I looked up and the description didn't help me more than just saying that. Dark candy syrup, which I looked up is like an ingredient people put in beer. It's supposed to have like a chocolatey, toffee, coffee, sweet flavor. And Hallertau. Mittelfra hops, which is a low acid hops, uh, which I think will do well here. Um, recently, I have learned a little bit about the acidity of hops because of a, a homebrew that I made um, that I wanted to add hops but not have extremely bitter hops. And the lower the acidity in hops, the less like really astringent, bitter flavors you'll get. Um, and this says it's 19 IBUs, which is like a unit that measures how bitter it is. So 19 is relatively low as well. What I am imagining I'll get out of this can is a darker beer. Maybe like a, a, a brownish rusty color. Maybe a little reddish rusty color. And it should have a sweet stone fruit, banana even smell and flavor, but uh, I guess we won't know exactly until we open it up. So let's do that right now. I'm also going to take a picture after I pour it out. Not too or big of a pop or fizz from that opening. Let's pour it into the glass. That's what they call these things. Save a little taste for the wife. Here you go. It is pretty dark. Black even. Like I can't see through it. But the, the head on it is a nice tan color. It is not a rusty red. It is pretty much black as midnight.
So I'm going to go ahead and take a picture if you don't mind. Let's go off to the side here. And then I'm going to go... Say cheese. Just examine the picture real quick. Good enough. Alright. Oh, some uh, Japanese team signed Michael Franco. Got to learn for that. Baseball stuff. Anyway, let's go ahead and try this out. It has like a raisiny, dark fruit smell to it. Cheers. It's definitely like a really rich maltiness to it. For being like a wheat based beer, the malt is like really thick tasting. I don't know if that's the best word to describe it. But definitely that dark candy syrup is coming through here. It is, it's not like sweet, but there's a candy-like flavor to it. It's definitely not as easy to drink as the last two. I almost feel like coating my teeth and sticking to it. The elevated alcohol level of this is definitely present. There you go. Oh, I don't know if I've mentioned this yet. This is from Art History Brewing. And they are out of Geneva, Illinois, which is a pretty distant west suburb of Chicago. It is by uh, there's Aurora, Batavia, and Geneva. Basically, as you go north. Um, their website is arthistory, arthistorybrewing.com. It looks like a lot of the, the cans have a similar artistic look to them, like this. They have like a weird name derived by Latin. But uh, yeah, there you go. The day three advent calendar from Lodi's Tap House. Uh, this one in collaboration with Art History Brewing. Kalis Doppel Dunkel Weisbach. Hope you enjoy the video. And we'll see you next time, potentially for day four of the advent beer calendar. See you later. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.